Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In today's video, I'm covering example 5 from section 5-3 in the Savas Realized Algebra 2 textbook. The goal of this video is to interpret a radical function model. So essentially, solve a word problem using radicals. I uh, was kind of surprised about this example from Savas because I think it's a little elementary for Algebra 2. But we'll go ahead and we'll talk about it. <laughs> so uh, it says, looking out to sea, the visibility in miles from a certain spot on a cliff can be calculated using this function, where x is the height in feet above sea level. All right, so this chick's walking along a cliff, going uphill, because uphill is the way to go, I guess. And the higher she goes, the further out to sea she's going to be able to see. Okay. So it says, Sasha walks through elevations ranging from 5 feet to 40 feet above sea level, and they want to know the minimum and maximum distances that she can see. So what Salvas actually did was hooked us up with a graph. <laughs> and so it's really easy if you have the graph to identify the minimum and maximum values. But on the second part of this example, there's no graph, so I'll show you how to calculate it. So her minimum distance out to sea is going to be like that she'll be able to see is at her minimum height right because the lower you are to the ground the less range you have for seeing and so if I you know kind of drag a, a line to the side here my minimum is occurring uh, just shy of three miles and then my maximum occurs right here which is just shy of eight miles all right so you can you can kind of restrict your graph see how they didn't use the entire root function they just used from the range or from the domain 5 to 40 because that was that distance Okay, so now let's check it out. So now the same situation is happening with Sasha's brother, but what he's doing is his his distances are 8 feet and 48 feet. Okay, so his minimum distance out to sea that he'll see occurs when we evaluate the function at 8 feet. And then his maximum, you know, distance that he can view occurs when he evaluates the function at 48 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that evaluation. So 1.5 times 8 is 12. And I could break up that 12, right? 12 is the same thing as 3 times 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. Now you could take that pair of twos out, so that turns into two root three miles. So that gets me an exact amount if I were to need it, okay? In this case, is that really that useful? Like if I was like, yo man, how far is it to the, to the gas station or whatever, and you tell me two root three miles, I might smack you or something, right? Because that's not the most useful number. So depending on the needs of your problem, you might want to actually go through and calculate 2 root 3. Okay, so in this case, it's approximately 3.5 miles. So now let's look at it with the 48. So 1.5 times 48 is 72. And then I'm breaking up 72. I'm doing a factor tree in my head. I know that 72 is 9 times 8. So 9 is 3 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So if I go ahead and take out my pairs, I'm taking out a 3 and a 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, so that's 6 root 2 miles, which again is not the most useful information for me. And so if I plug that into a calculator, I get about 8.5 miles. So that again is the distance that he can see from where he's at 
at that elevation. So there we have it. That's how we used a radical function model. Until next time.